these. I have the essentials with me today. My new Bagu Sandy Liang collab, which I'm shocked that I even was able to get that. Beauty girls are all over it. Banana, just had a mini muffin. And I am walking to the nail salon. Are we surprised? Are we shocked that that's what I'm doing today? No, not really. I'm wearing my boyfriend's jacket. It's a really nice leather jacket. I look cute with my outfit. I have my Bottega drop dupes that I've been going crazy about because I think they're like a really good chunky statement piece without spending all the money on the real ones. Sorry, not sorry. This Devils, New Jersey Devils hat that I thrifted in the summer when I did my thrifting Olympics video. And then like my bodysuit, which has been so clutch. This cardigan from my mom's closet. And then like my white Converse with leg warmers. I really like the look of the leg warmers and I also like that they serve a purpose. So I'm very resourceful with my outfits. I try to really find like, I'm at the point where I really try to find like really quality basics, but also like if I do try to look for unique pieces, I'm looking for secondhand mostly. And yeah, just things that you won't really find and the quality is usually better. My nails are still like this, say like aura nails, but I'm gonna go with cherry red. Red has kind of been the color of the season for fall and it's kind of, of course, always the color of the season for the holidays. So it just makes sense. That is a journey today. And I'm also gonna try to get a new phone today. I'm gonna, right after the nail salon, go to T-Mobile and try to get the iPhone 15 Pro. Because believe it or not, <laughs> this entire time I've been vlogging for the past like seven months. And by the way, I've gotten like 50,000 total views on this YouTube channel, which is wild because <laughs> i've been vlogging from an iphone 11 i think 2018 2019 whenever that came out so i've been upgraded since and i don't care to upgrade that much just to upgrade but since i am a content creator and i'm making a lot of videos and photos i have to have the most optimal cameras on the phone yeah i could get a vlog camera obviously you guys have been hearing me talk about how i need to get a vlog camera and I made an attempt in the summer and that never showed up on Amazon, so I don't know why. What happened, why they said that they had the whole media kit available and then it was just never sent, never charged, nothing. It's just sitting there. So now I feel like my best investment is the new iPhone for now. Unless I do like some sort of crowdfund <laughs> for the cutie pies to buy me one, but no, I'm just kidding. I, I really, I'm, I'll get it myself. I'll figure out the best time but I feel like 2024 is gonna come with a lot of opportunity. A lot of doors opening and I'm accepting it all. Accepting the energy of success. And for me, success, probably a long winded answer, but it just means waking up and being able to do what I love every day and be financially supported by that. That would mean success to me. finished getting my nails done. I got nice cherry red. Honestly, I'm so happy with it. I did a good job, but it wasn't the same as my other girl. I got this from About Coffee. And I'm perched up on a stoop. Cause that's just what you do here. You just sit on a random stoop. And I'm gonna just eat my croissant. Right next to Santa. Me, I can't spend that much money on a vlog camera. Also, me buys a freaking iPhone that's more expensive than the vlog camera. But an iPhone is an iPhone, and I use iPhones for absolutely everything. Unfortunately, they didn't have the one I wanted, and I figured if I'm gonna spend that much on a freaking phone, I better get the exact one I want. So, right now, I have the iPhone 11 Lilac. 128 gigabytes and even with 128 gigabytes with the amount the amount of photos i take and videos i take i still pay for icloud and i still sometimes get messages that i don't have enough space so with that being said since i'm trying to do this as like a full-time job eventually i got the 256 gig white iphone 15 pro so that's like the top notch one 
and they didn't have it in store so I just placed the order online. I got the screen protector because I always like having the screen protectors. I got the insurance on it for I think the first six months at least for now and I got the little charging cube because you pay a ton of money for iPhones now and guess what they don't even give you the charging cube to charge your phone anymore because it's different than the one I had. It's such a joke but they do have the cable which is not the cube so if you want to um, consider buying someone something or like a little stocking stuff for this Christmas apart from you know making something homemade or uh, buying it from a small business or cute things like that get them a charger a phone charger like I feel like that's such a good gift that people never want to buy themselves so definitely get them that I just noticed that I lost my freaking ring oh no I had my little cutie dolphin ring on this hand and that's like a childhood ring. Oh, I just noticed that. I still have these. These are like super important to me, but damn. I just noticed that as I was talking to you guys. I'm looking at my nails. That's sad. Guys, shut up. Look where I just found it. Are you kidding me? But it's like all bent. Someone, oh, I wonder what happened. It's like all bent now. It's like little dolphins, but damn. Someone must have like maybe rode a bicycle over it like something must have happened but then they put it here this is so bizarre what i retraced my steps honestly thinking there was no way in hell also look at this tree thinking there was no way in hell i was gonna find this damn like it's literally squished though and they're doing a bunch of construction so i have a feeling someone must have squished it and then maybe saw it on the floor and then put it there that is so crazy i'm shook to my absolute core right now and that is not the only weird thing that has happened to me this week i actually sorry a bunch of kids just got let out of school i think but yeah i actually had some random number text me yesterday and i really thought nothing of it because there's sometimes that people message or call the wrong number but the message was so nice to meet you the other day and i wanted to tell you about that couple and i was like trying to brainstorm who this person was and what couple they were talking about because something happened with a couple in colorado but it just seemed like a weird thing because like the girls that i went to Colorado with like we were on a whole trip together so I don't think they would message me just randomly like nice to meet you the other day but I wasn't sure so, Thank you so much welcome. I just was like hey sorry I've met like so many cool people the past few weeks and who is this <laughs> I always feel like bad asking someone who like new phone who this but she was like oh this is Allie, you're Emily, right? And I was like, I am not Emily. You have the wrong number. But something in me, like some intuition, kind of like told me to keep the conversation going for whatever reason. And we were kind of laughing about the whole situation and I was like, it's funny how the universe has like a way to bring people together, like even in the most random ways. And she was like, yeah, that's so funny and weird. <laughs> And something inclined me again to like share my socials. I no idea who this person is, no idea what they look like, how old they are, where they live, nothing. And it's green text bubbles. Like it, that means it's like an Android. Like it's like so random. And she was like, oh, I appreciate that. But I actually have, I don't have social media because I nanny and babysit and all this stuff and I don't want the parents to freak out but I was just like oh, okay that makes sense and so I was like all right well you know have a nice day happy holidays it was nice you know chit chatting with you and then she was like oh well I feel like I owe you the story now of this couple and I was like all right you know I'll bite and she tells me how she goes to a bar and this couple I guess hit on her like they're swingers I don't know <laughs> so she ended up going home with them and she said it was a lot of fun and again it's like 
this is a complete stranger. <laughs> but I was like, you know, reading this story and I was just like, you know, good for you, girl. As long as we stay safe as women, we could do whatever we please. And each person makes their own decisions. And she was like, I agree. And I feel like she was like, it, it's been nice talking to you because my mental health has been like really bad. And I know that we're in the holiday season now and it's actually like the most depressing time for a lot of people. So I, I felt like that was another thing that like my gut feeling was telling me about. And that's what she said. She's like, I don't, it's very rare to see women supporting women. And I appreciate your positive energy, even in this weird situation. And I said, I agree and same thing. And that was it. That was the whole thing. So nothing else came of it, but just the moment of the universe kind of doing a weird thing where maybe I could have, you know, made someone stay. She did end up saying she found the girl she was trying to text, which is awesome. So that was that. But I wanted to let the vlog know because don't ever ignore your intuition because there's no way to describe why you might be inclined to do certain things but there's just certain things if your gut feeling is telling you is right then most likely it's right and that's why I did that I've never done that with anyone else that has accidentally called or texted me the conversation usually just ends with oh sorry wrong number and that's it shocker another cold rainy New York day I'm going to the Met I've been needing a museum day for a while. I've been like chit-chatting with one girly from the NYC Girls Room Facebook group. I made a post on that page like late August. And since then, well, when I made that post originally, it was like, I got a lot of DMs at once, which is very flattering. But at the same time, like I'm one person, I just need like, Maybe like five friends, five like good activity buddy friends. And so I answered back to all of them, of course. But for me, it's like, I need to, I know not everyone's that active on social media. So it's not like it's a requirement that you need to be super active on social media for me to be friends with you. But when it's like a complete stranger, I prefer to, get to know you, get to know kind of like what you do every day and kind of like interact with each other's content and interact with your stories, your posts, what kind of things you like. And then I think that kind of can blossom into a friendship and then we can meet up and if we have similar tastes and things or similar goals in life and we want to help each other out, like. If you do like creating content and you're kind of in the social media game, it kind of makes sense for us to connect in New York City because that's kind of what I've been doing here. But some girls either message you and then they really just never respond again or never make an effort to really meet up. And then other girls are the complete opposite where they will DM you one time and immediately want to meet up and hang out <laughs> and like be biffles and i'm like yo first of all slow your roll because one i don't even know who you are <laughs> two i put in the post originally that my schedule is not an average nine to five so with that being said i'm looking for people that aren't gonna ask me every freaking weekend what I'm doing because I work most weekends. So a lot of them understood that and the ones that I have met up with, which as of right, as of right now, it's only been the two girlies I met with at the pumpkin patch. If you haven't seen that vlog, check that one out. <laughs> we had so much fun, so we are going to do some Christmas bar hopping tonight. It's, this is just both of them as a group because I was like, we had a lot of fun. I didn't like try to get anyone else to come or haven't yet like hit up other girlies unless like 
we've been actively talking to each other. And then this one girl, we've just been chatting like back and forth. And yeah, like I said, we've just been chatting back and forth in stories and kind of like connecting with each other's posts and all that. So it just made a lot more sense to ask her because I know she, why do people honk like this? Because I know that she is off some weekdays and her schedule is kind of like similar to mine in that sense. So, so she had off today, it's Friday. And she has like a season pass for the Met. I don't, but <laughs> I just need to be like inside a museum, living my Gossip Girl, Blair Waldorf life. Not this shit, cause oh my God. I truly thought I was never gonna get off that train. <laughs> it was like the longest train ride. I tell you that I must have yawned like a hundred times on that train ride. I was falling asleep and I was like, all I need is coffee and food. <laughs> so I'm going to Modern Bread and Bagel, which is here off of the 81st Ave exit. Look how beautiful these brownstones are here. And probably gonna get myself a really nice bagel and iced coffee. this room to ourselves. <laughs> I'm just gonna act like this is my living room. No, we're hard pretending this oh, is No, this is room. literally our living room right now. <laughs> it's chill over here. The statue is a little questionable, but... These portraits are a little creepy. Like, if you were here at night, this would be so haunting, like in the middle of the night. It's still raining and I'm gonna go to the bar now. I feel like the Met is huge and we didn't even see like a fraction of it. I have to come back like and just be fully prepared to do this all day and but I saw so many cool, interesting things. Right. Here. Merry Christmas. <laughs> survived Rolf's 2023 <laughs> German restaurant slash Christmas bar of hell. <laughs> Great, stop number two. Hello, hello. It's my day off and I just did a makeup makeup kind of everyday look that I filmed for Instagram and TikTok so keep an eye out for that. I am wearing sweatpants today. I'm super comfy but elevated basics with this jacket and this scarf on and I have a bunch of stuff. I have my film that I'm gonna drop off at I think Nice Film which is the one I've been using. Last time I went to the Brooklyn camera shop but they actually use Nice Film Lab to send it over anyway so i figured i'd just go to nice film lab and just drop it off right there directly and then i'm i have my new phone so i have finally guys major upgrade alert i have the iphone 15 pro in white so 
I am gonna go activate that at T-Mobile. I'll have the screen protector. I ordered a wildflower case a few days ago, but I think cause it was like Black Friday, they're kind of delayed on everything. So it did ship, but it's gonna be a few days and I'm like terrified of using my new phone without a case. So I might have to get a case there at T-Mobile for now. And I'm gonna get like the OctoBuddy so I can use that to take a bunch of videos and photos throughout the city in a lot easier way and I'm like always I have my journal and my book here so let's see where it takes us I'm just a girl I cannot be allowed in cute stores I almost walked away I almost almost walked away my brain was like, you know what? So there's New York Christmas, you should get a little ornament. So I got a little taxi ornament, which resulted in getting three little disco ball ornaments, which resulted in me seeing this cute little wallet that just says, sold my soul for some rock and roll. So that is just great trying not to regret my life right now because <laughs> that money I just spent in there was what I was gonna basically spend on developing this film. Yeah, this is why I can't be coming to Williamsburg or Bedford Ave in general. There's just a lot of cute things here. My bank account cannot handle this right now. Like, help. and still look cute if you just have some nice scarves and a nice jacket on. So I get to this area and it's telling me that the film lab is here. But I don't see anything. I don't even see a sign. And this is why I went to the camera store to begin with, but I figured I would skip that step and just come here. I found the sign. It says Buzz 104. If you're ever coming here, now you know. This is what you have to do. Okay, okay, quality, quality just went up. Price went up using the cinematic mode. So it does kind of blur out the background, but so far I'm liking it. I am definitely the girly that wears sunglasses even on the cloudiest of days. I'm on my way to meet up a friend at a coffee shop nearby here in bed -Stuy. Coffee shop is called Milk and Pull and I actually have never been there. It was kind of like a TikTok wreck. I'm gonna like go to different coffee shops and see what's up. The one, that I like going to the most is September because it's the closest. And also it's women owned, it's black owned. You're supporting, you know, your local shops. So if you were following my summer vlogs, I was going there on a weekly basis in the summer. I haven't been going there as much recently, but I definitely want to go back and start making coffee shop days a thing again because they are cozy, you know, like so what if we have to wear a silly little jacket and a silly little hat to go outside? We can do it. We got this. about to go to an ugly sweater Christmas party right after work. I've been wearing my there's some hose in this house sweatshirt <laughs> yesterday and today. 
I actually got a tree, a Christmas tree, and I'm still waiting for the lights. I think they get here today. I didn't go out and get one, like a real tree, and I didn't go out and buy the stuff myself. I ordered it online because it was just the most convenient thing to do. But what I wanted to show you right now, I got this little ribbon kit. Like, look how, how much ribbon comes in there. And then I got gingham ribbon as well. I'm gonna make two little ribbon pins, like for my hair, so I can wear that for the ugly Christmas sweater party tonight. And I will show you my outfit for that as well. I'm just really excited because I also just finished my Colorado vlog and finished like scheduling it so it goes out tomorrow. By the time you see this, it'll already be out. So definitely go check that out because that is a funny like out of pocket colorful carol vlog it's not like my usual very wholesome vibes and i do have chaotic moments in my vlogs but you know when you're with the girlies you're at a bachelorette party things get unhinged so just bear with me keep that in mind i did put rated r rated m for mature because <laughs> there is a lot of cursing and a lot of things involved i'm debating what color i want to do but this was $9, I think $9.99, so like $10. And it has so many colors. So obviously red would be the most obvious one, but after the ugly Christmas sweater party, I'm going to this fashion event after party, and I'll probably be removing the sweater for that and just wearing all black. So I was thinking since I'm wearing white tights that I might do white. Or maybe I'll do the gingham. I don't know. We're gonna see. Um, I think green would be really cute too. So I really don't know. But let's see how it goes. Because I, I actually do have hot glue. But I think that is downstairs somewhere in storage. So I'm gonna use Gorilla Glue. And yeah. This could either go really well or really bad. <laughs> I just cut like this much ribbon. I cut two of the same sizes, so I figured if I, we'll see, because even if it's long, that could still be really cute. I don't know why I'm so nervous about this. I guess I've never really tied a bow, like, by itself. The bows have taken over. I, I actually really do love the bow trend, like, it's so girly and cute and fun and playful. I'm here for it. The last time I remember bows, like, trending... And it wasn't as big as it is now was the tumbler days i remember like the american apparel had like these velvet bows i used to wear but it's definitely not the same as it is now okay so i have okay this might be like too big my idea was more like having this part be small but then having like long strings like something like that I think it'd be cute. And it, my hair is going to be down, so it'll be like with my hair. It actually was not hard at all. Also, I got my first 1 million views on a video today. It's actually on Instagram. It's on my reels. It was a remix of Paige Lorenz's kitty video that I thought I would make like a little funny video. Never thought it was going to blow up the way it did. And honestly, it makes me want to do more silly, funny content. I, I love doing like cutesy stuff or like lifestyle stuff and everything but like I don't think it, it does not gather the masses as much as like one silly relatable video will. I have my two little bows. Now let's see how this goes. These are the only clips I have. I'd prefer other colors that aren't black but honestly I think even, let's see, I'm trying to think of like where it's best to do this maybe like right here on this little edge i can plop it right there and it won't be as obvious it's hard to be an adult with responsibilities and trying to do all this crafty stuff so i just put a good amount of gorilla glue on there and i'm gonna put this and honestly worst case if this doesn't work out it doesn't work out but at least i can say i tried so I'll come back when I'm getting ready for the actual party and see what these look like. Maybe give you the final product. Okay guys, this is the final look. Look how cute the little bows came out. 
have my little sweater on. I have my tights and my little shoesies. My little shoesies, they're so cute with their little socks. Mm -hmm. I feel like I look like a little anime. I feel like I look like a little anime girl. <laughs> so cute. This is an elf. I really wanted coquito, but did not have time to make that. So I ordered eggnog. And I think that's what I'm gonna bring. I do have also a bottle of wine, so I don't know if I'm gonna bring. Shelf, the elf on a couch. <laughs> we are a few eggnogs deep, so bear with us. Christmas cutie pies. I just wanted to come in quickly say that I'm just so thankful and so grateful for this little community and all of the adventures that we have been this year. I am actually working today and I'm watching the Nickelodeon feed of the football game which makes I think I'm gonna use the next couple days before New Year's if we do get better by New Year's which we should. Um, it's our eight year anniversary Ryan and I's so we usually go out that night. We usually go out for New Year's Eve. Um, he does have something planned for New Year's Day. I have no idea, but I am off that day. So that's really nice. So yeah, we'll see what kind of adventures we get into 2024. I can't wait to keep sharing them with you all here. I'm gonna just, you know, take this time to reflect and plan on the next year and make a vision board. And I think I would encourage all of you to do the same. But anyways, I hope everybody has a really good remainder of the year. I hope you have a happy new year. I hope 2024 brings you all the joy, all of your goals, all of your dreams come true. And let's keep working at it. It's it's a gradual burn, I've noticed, you know, <laughs> with making your dreams come true. It's not just something that's just going to happen. But I, I have been seeing effects. I have been seeing the positive effects of all this work that I've been putting in. And none of it is possible without a community and if you have any ideas or any video ideas always feel free to comment them you know anything that i feel like i should specifically do or speak on or focus on or any constructive criticism i am so open to it and yeah i really want to know what you think so let me know if you haven't already don't forget to like and subscribe it's a free way to support an artist and like i always say why not why not support someone that's trying to create their dream i spoke to my friend about like how kind of what i do like lifestyle content photography videography all that i'm like so many people do that now you know it's just like it feels like such a saturated market sometimes but she told me when you go in the bread aisle how many different types of breads are there and they all still get bought right so that i thought that analogy was so good and it, it's just like stuck in my head how each person brings their own little magic and me just sharing like my little world and making other people happy or feel seen or maybe just being like a friend or like a company to you can make such a difference in people's lives in, in one way or another and what's ordinary to us could be extraordinary for someone else so and that's the way i'm i'm kind of viewing it that each person is their own unique thing and we have to keep working on showing our uniqueness and to the world and one way or another we're gonna get to where we want to be so i love you kitty bye so much i will see you next year bye